Welcome back everyone to my channel. I've been having a small problem with uh, mice in my chicken coop, both of them actually. They are coming in through the front door and they're eating the food. Now the other day I was getting eggs, I don't have a video of it because it would have been funny. I was getting the eggs and I just got the last egg in and I'm trying to clean the wood shavings off the door right here and as I'm doing that a mouse comes out of the nesting box flies hits my hand and flies off to on the ground and takes off and I'm like that little sucker was fast I've never seen a mouse run that fast these are fast mice now my chickens I've seen them eat mice before and um, but they're pretty small this one was it was, it was a full-grown adult mouse, but uh, a pretty good size. They probably couldn't eat it in one swallow. Gross, isn't it? <laughs> but, uh, so anyways, I got a little mouse problem here. And so the other night, let me show you what I did here. Let me show you where they're hanging out and uh, what I've done. <laughs> hey, I'm talking here. So these are my nesting boxes in here. Um... I'm only using what three four I got one one two three four this side here I blocked it I closed it off from the inside and the chickens don't have access to it so I kind of I've been using it as like storage whatever but the mice have been hanging out in here and they're making it their home so they come in here go to the food go drink their water and come back here and hang out uh -uh, they're not even paying rent. I am. <laughs> uh, so what I've done is I went out and purchased some of these uh, mice poison blocks. The, the little blocks that uh, they're basically full of uh, poison, of course, but it's uh, blood thinner, basically what it is. Like, uh, what is that, Coumadin that people take? <laughs> but it's just a very high dose. They bleed to death internally and they die so sad <laughs> so i put one here and i put one over here and they've been munching away at it yeah so this is the block here see if i can focus in on it so you can see where they're munching away on that thing <laughs> let me refocus the camera here so, yeah, they, uh, they probably won't be back, <laughs> uh, at least not the ones that ate that. I gotta wash my hands now. But, uh, so that's my fix so far. I could set up traps in here, but I'll catch one at a time. So if there's multiple mice, they'll be eating out of that same block. And, uh, and unfortunately, the, well, fortunately, they will, they will die. Uh, so I'm going to wait another a few more days here and see what's going on. And then I'll, uh, I'll clean this out in here. But uh, it won't affect the uh, chickens at all. The chickens, again, don't have any access to these two compartments. But apparently, I got a hole up in there where the mice can get in. So... Uh, I'll take care of them now anyways. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. All right, so another way of getting the mice is get yourself a container like this. This is a whey protein container. Any type of plastic container will work as long as it has a lid. Drill one or two holes in it like I did here. I used a uh, Forstner or F Forrester drill bit and uh, it was, uh, what was it, an inch and an eighth I used. But you can use between an inch, inch and a quarter. That will work just fine. And trust me, if the hole's not big enough, the mice will eat around the hole and, and they will make it big enough. Um, so get yourself a container, drill the holes, get yourself your bait, the poison, put it in there, and close it up real good. Now this I am gonna be putting in and around the chicken coop outside and maybe inside by the feeder put a brick or weight, a good weight on there so they don't tip it over. Uh, 
and uh, this way the mice can get in there, eat their food, and you don't have to worry about uh, your chickens eating it, your uh, cats, dogs, and things like that. Uh, especially my cat here. She, uh, she seems to be fond of these plastic containers. <laughs> it must be the smell inside of the uh, flavoring that they added, chocolate or strawberry, whatever it is. But yeah, this is a good way to keep your animals from eating the poison and target the mice. pretty feisty. Don't worry, we go through this all the time. Hey, chickies. Well, looks like this one here is eh, a little over half full. And this one here is about empty. We'll, we'll give them some fresh water. There you go, chickies. Fresh water. Fresh rain water. <laughs> now here I take a shortcut. It's much easier this way <laughs> instead of going all the way around. One more time, Mr. Rooster. I have to start kicking you a little harder. <laughs> I know it's gonna be a lot of you there. Oh my gosh, you kicked the rooster. How could you do such a thing? Please, if I were to seriously kick that rooster, he wouldn't get up again. Um, what I do is, I, he, if I don't lift my leg up and give him my boot, he will scratch me up with the spurs. He's got some pretty healthy looking spurs. Um, he will scratch me up really bad. He's done it once before. And I say, uh-uh, not no more. <laughs> so every time he comes at me, I lift my boot up. And I, I don't actually kick him, I actually push him is what I'm doing. It looks like I'm kicking him, but I'm actually just pushing him. Uh, because like I said, if I would seriously kick this rooster, I would break all his ribs and he would be in sad shape. 
I don't want to do that, okay? I don't have to deal with him like being hurt. Um, so, yeah, I'm just pushing him, basically, what, what I'm doing. Come here, Ginger. Ninja Ginger. Come here. Come here, Ninja Ginger. Come here. Oh, Ninja Ginger. Ninja Ginger and Coco. Oh, come here. Oh, okay. These two need to take care of the mice. Oh, okay, don't. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so now that I got the chickens taken care of, the mice are taken care of too, <laughs> I gotta concentrate on the greenhouse. I've been in there doing a ton of uh, cleaning as far as weeds. The weeds have gotten out of control there during the summer. Um, so I clean that all out, and now I need to fill the beds up with soil because they are like that far from the top low. Um, so I need to fill that up and um, so let's go there next. Well guys, that looks a little bit cleaner. There's still a lot more sweeping I have to do. But my main concern right now is filling these beds up. If you would have saw this, I didn't even take a picture of it. I was too embarrassed. <laughs> there was weeds everywhere growing out from underneath the beds. And it was a mess because during the winter, during the summertime, uh, it was just too hot. I couldn't do nothing in here. It was in, you know, 104, 106, 108 degrees outside. In here, it was, you know, 10, 15 degrees hotter, if not more. Uh, and the weeds were just thriving away. It just it blows me away. But, uh, yeah, my main concern now is, now that it's somewhat cleaned out, filling these beds up. Uh, some of these beds, like this one here, is uh, we always plant parsley in here. And this one over here, we plant cilantro. And these are the, the type of beds where you just constantly plant the same thing because, you know, at the end of the season, these things dry out and the seeds fall everywhere. So you might as well just keep growing the same thing over and over again um, in the same beds. Uh, these two here. And then the rest, pretty much whatever. Uh, we're we're going to try and plant a lot of uh, leafy greens this year. A lot of your lettuces and uh, cabbage, also broccoli, and uh, whatever else we uh, we decide to plant. Um, but yeah, I gotta get these beds ready. So I have here a mix of compost and manure. Uh, this is old, aged uh, compost, and um, different variety of compost, and uh, clean out from my chicken coop and uh mushroom compost also all mixed together and we're going to fill these beds up with some nice organic material um i don't think i'm going to amend it with much else maybe a little azomite you know i'm a little uh, i go a little crazy with azomite because i want the minerals in there most <clears throat> of the soil that i have is just organic matter which is good but you still need some soil, your native soil in there, if you can do that. Um, and th there is some in here, but not a whole lot. Uh, so that's why I like throwing azomite in there also, which is in um, volcanic ash, I think they get it from. It's got a whole host of minerals in there. And, um, and that's what helps it along the bacteria. Munch away at the organic material and at the minerals and uh the plants absorb all that stuff up all right guys so now my job is to fill these beds up uh, one bed at a time
Wow, I am, I am done. Man, that was only a few hundred loads. And, uh, well, no, not really. <laughs> uh, it sure seems like it though. Going back and forth, back and forth. There's no other way for me to do it. I don't care, that cart just barely fits through that door. And uh, can't use my tractor. It's okay, I need the exercise. So anyways, I got these beds filled up. One of these carts full, nice and full, did two beds. So that's pretty good. And each bed was at least five, six inches it needed of this compost and Actually, it's two types of compost. The uh, composted, uh, the compost that I had, I should say, and uh, the mushroom compost. So, this here is all set. So, we're going to start planting all our stuff in our seedling trays and getting those ready. And we'll start planting those today because we were going to direct sow into the soil here but what was it two years ago now we had a problem with those little roly polies they would come out at night and chew up and eat up the the, the little uh, seedlings uh, because they're very tender and they can just eat them up I never thought they'd do that but they do so as far as the mice I hope we don't get any more because there's nothing worse than getting mice in your chicken coop eating the feed getting poop in the feed, the, my, the uh, chickens eating the poop and the feed, and, and it, you're looking at disease, and, and that's not good, not good at all. This is taken care of for our fall uh, greenhouse gardening. We're gonna be planting a lot of green leafy vegetables in here, and uh, eat as much as I possibly can because I only feel good when I eat out of my own garden. I'm gonna do a video pretty soon explaining that and the reason for that and how supermarket produce is garbage and it's lost most of its nutrients uh, from, you know, 60, 70, 100 years ago. Uh, so yeah, it, uh, um, the, the produce is getting really bad, but when I eat out of my garden here, I always feel really good. Okay guys, so thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video.